Hi everybody, thank you for watching. Today I'm gonna show you the swatches of my liquid lipsticks. I got it time ago and I was trying to show you the results and my opinion about it. So I hope this video can help you of some way and let's begin. I will start applying from the light to dark shades. The first color I'm gonna apply is this beautiful pink. The name of this color is Jeffrey by Kat Von D. To apply liquid lipsticks, I don't use anything before. Some people like to apply concealer or lip liner, but I don't use anything. Because as the lipstick uh, dries matte, I prefer to use only around my lip. This way I can have the real color of the lipstick and correct any mistake that I made. So this is how it looks. I absolutely love this shade. It's a beautiful and different shade of pink. This liquid lipstick lasts so longer, so I have to remove with makeup remover to show you the next colors. Basically, I use the same steps for all the colors. Well, I just love it, all the colors that I got, but I have to say one thing. They are so beautiful and they look amazing in my lips, but after some minutes, I don't know what happened. It looks super dried. I don't think these lipsticks work for me, so I wanna know what you think about it please let me know in the comments if you have it basically i don't know i just don't like it i prefer to use a matte lipstick but not a liquid lipstick that dries matte this one is the color sweet berry by lime crime as you can see it looks so beautiful now i try to apply in a lot of ways especially with only a lip brush but i still couldn't find the best way to use it when i filmed these videos was the first time that i was trying these lipsticks so you can see that I was so happy, I really love it. But after some minutes, especially when you smile, it's like if the lipstick broke in your lips. Just because of this super dried effect. This color that I'm applying is also so beautiful. This is in the shade Backstage Bambi by Kat Von D. Basically, what I'm trying to say with this video is that if you're going to spend money with these liquid lipsticks, you can buy first one color, try it, and then think about to make your own collection. Because I got five from Kat Von D and five from Lime Crime. I like so much of all the colors and how it looked in the first minute, but I don't like it for use in special events that I have to stay for hours, for example. I just think that a matte normal lipstick can make a better effect than this one. So this is what I think, I hope this information can help you in something. I got all these lipsticks and I don't know what to do with them. So of course I'm gonna use it only in my videos, because I do the makeup for you and then I can remove it. This beautiful pink that I'm applying now is Pinky Velvet by Lime Crime. And now, looking all of these lipsticks, this is one of my favorite in the shade Bachelorette from Kat Von D. It's kind of pinkish red. Oh, I forgot to say, the concealer that I'm using is Still Finish by MAC. Now I'm gonna apply the color Utopia by Lime Crime. Well, before someone asked me, between Lime Crime and Kat Von D, I prefer the lipsticks from Kat Von D. But I really love the shade from Lime Crime, it's even matching with my nails. Now I'm gonna apply this another shade of purple. This one is the color Love by Kat Von D. This color is crazy and absolutely beautiful.
The next color that I'm gonna apply is the color Underage Red by Kat Von D. This is a beautiful and vibrant red. I'm gonna apply another beautiful red. This one is Red Velvet by Lime Crime. And now the last color that I'm gonna apply is the color Wicked by Lime Crime. It's a beautiful dark like wine shade. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you can understand me well. At first moment, I loved all the lipsticks as you can see in my face when I was trying for this video. But after I had to say what I think about it. So as I said before, I hope this video can help you of some way. And if you have any ask or suggestions for more videos, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next time.